guards and police divers have searched all day for a 27-year-old musician who fell off Crystal Pier in Pacific Beach. But so far, they've not been able to find his body. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis has been following these search efforts all day. And Amanda, what's happening now? Well, for their own safety, divers had to stop searching for the night. They were focusing on this area behind me by the pier where it happened. We're told conditions were calmer than last night, but still no luck. We're learning more about the young man who they are looking for. He lived in Pacific Beach and was a passionate musician. Friends of Taylor Watts cling on to one another, helpless in the search to find their friend. In the musical world, he went by Tay Watts and built a large online fan base through YouTube and Spotify. He was on Crystal Pier with friends when the accident happened. Lifeguards say Watts climbed over the railing and tried to hang on to a rope, but fell back and off the pier. Well, I was here kind of hanging out watching the football games and I came out to film the sunset and I saw the lifeguard truck out at the end of the dock or the end of the pier and I knew something had happened. Greg Griffith lives down the street from the pier. About 10 lifeguard trucks down at the beach. There was a boat in the water, helicopter circling overhead, one lifeguard truck at the end of the dock, a fire engine right here on the boardwalk. Witnesses saw a shoe floating in the water, but never saw Watts come to surface. Nearly two hours later, crews ended their search. What we're trying to do is uh, what makes the most sense with our available resources. Divers are using a long rope to comb the ocean floor. They're also utilizing helicopters and boats with sonar equipment. It's the second time in recent weeks someone has fallen off a pier. In the other case, a 19-year-old was sitting on the OB pier railing when he fell backwards. Lifeguards were able to rescue him. They say pier railings do keep people safe, but problems happen when people don't follow the rules. If you choose to climb up on the railing, uh, you're putting yourself at unnecessary risk, and we've seen tragic things occur because of it. A reality loved ones of Watts must face. The ocean's pretty powerful, you gotta watch out. Lifeguards say they'll be back out here at 8 in the morning, but it's not sure which assets they're going to be using, either divers, boats, or both. Coming up tonight at 11, we've spoke with one of the last musicians to play with Watts. You'll hear from him tonight. For now, reporting live in Pacific Beach, Amanda Brandeis, 10 News.